episode. Special, yeah. super special remote episode. Guitar Fever LA. We're in Britain. And we took this American car with her just to make people like, ah, 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 it's gone. We're on our way to the rudest place on earth. No, not New York City. No, the Guitar Center in Hollywood. Try not to get service there. <laughs> Try not getting some condescending remark <laughs> about how you look, how you play, or what you're interested in. I hope never to work at the Guitar Center because I've never heard of anyone saying, and so and so went on from Guitar Center to rock star though. That's true. So don't, don't work at a Guitar Center because they're going to make you into the, hey man, how you doing? And then like, everyone's like, back off, man. Back off. Now you become the back off. Guy people say that too. No, you know what? It's funny because they know they can smell like sharks when you're when you want, like when you want like their business. Like they don't, there's nowhere. Like when you're just there to browse, like are you sure, man? I don't know, we got sale on picks. Like no, I'm cool. They're like, and when you got money and you're there to buy something specific, like everyone's on the phone or they're not on the That's floor. True. And, or they're just like, they're just not there. I don't know what it is. The only thing that changes at the Guitar Center is the hairstyles. The fake camaraderie or like, hey bro, how's it going? No, oh, yeah, go ahead, man, turn anything on. But don't play. They don't have cables anymore. They used to have cables on top of the amps. I like when I sat next to expensive guitars and no one comes and says, can I help you with that? <laughs> That's true. They probably could have come and go, don't, don't, don't touch that. You're not going to touch that right. Places have a vault, the, the vault to keep you even more like it. scared of the guitar. Yeah, they put the super special ones behind the glass. And there's always a guy who doesn't know how to play who thinks he doesn't even understand like that someone who can't play shouldn't be touching a $30,000 guitar. Some old 19 something. So I think the neck on this needs to be adjusted. <laughs> yeah. Starts picky, starts heavy picky downward, you know, all kinds of scratches. <laughs> All kinds of metal bracelets. <laughs> now, my favorite is the guys that go, the teenagers that go there with their girlfriends to impress them. But then it's like you're dragging, like, like it's like you take a guitar center, it's like taking a dog for a walk. Taking your girlfriend to the guitar center is like taking a dead dog for a walk. <laughs> the dog is dead on the leash. You're like, you gotta turn around and she's nowhere. She's looking at the cuter guy with a nicer guitar that you can afford. That can play better. Yep. So don't take her there, man. I once went there, you know who's, I saw, I've been there and I've seen a couple, I've seen several celebrities there. Yeah, I'll mention all of them. For going, it's a long ride. Well, the first one I met, believe it or not, was the arch enemy of the Karate Kid. The Cobra, the Cobra Kai guy. He was there at the keyboard section back in the Johnny 90s. guy? Johnny, yeah. Put him in a body bag, Johnny. Get him, Johnny, sweep the leg, Johnny. Or whatever his name was. That guy was there. And the guy at the guitar center was like, Pretended he didn't know who he was like, do I know? He was like, because like he was so happy to tell him was I'm from the karate kid, I'm the bad guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's all happy, he's like explaining who he is. And, and ironically, you know, I've never seen Lightning Boy there. Or, you know, the karate kid. The next person I seen was there was there uh, was the guy's name from the Jeffersons? Jefferson. George Jefferson. Oh, Her, George Jefferson? Yeah. I was in the keyboard section when it was downstairs. Because when I saw the Karate Kid, it was up when it was upstairs. And he was like, can you help me with this? I'm like, I don't work here. He goes, I know you don't work here. <laughs> Come here. He made me like move buttons and That's stuff. Funny. And I was like, okay. I was like, it's funny because he was like one of my heroes as a kid growing up. Him and that Florence, the way they fought. That's good comedy, man. That's how rich people are, man. They don't care if you don't work here. Yeah, they're like, now. help me. Yeah. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> I know you're one of the people. Another uh, person, uh, I saw Billy Corgan once there, uh, and my first inclination was to mock him. Like, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, hey, there's Gene Simmons' bass, why don't you buy it and smash it on stage? Like, I totally dehumanized him and turned him into just a celebrity. And um, he kind of just shook my hand and was pleasant. Later on, I saw him open up for Kiss on Halloween. And no, he did not play that bass, and no, he didn't break it, but I wonder if I, if I put the wheels in motion. I think he did. Too. It's one of those things where you say it in the universe. Yeah, it's happen. like, hey, that's a good idea. Let's make that happen. Kiss him. And he might have broken the bass backstage. Or, you know, uh, yeah. or G might have seen it and confiscated it. Yeah. He's like, oh, hell no. But did you say you saw Trent Reznor there once? Yeah, he was also there. Him and um, Twiggy. They were walking between, like, 
There's like they have special doors where they like where they um they they um hustle them in in between the regular folk so they don't have to look at us. <laughs> we caught that. Yeah. Um, oh wow, <laughs> it's trash in the middle of the road. Yeah. Nice. It's right next to City Hall. At least they put it in a bag for you. <laughs> for the people. <laughs> Yeah, but that was just like a brief encounter. He was like in and out. I saw the Zappas there, not Frank, but his kids, uh, Dweezil and, and um, his brother. And, uh, what's his brother's name? Dude, the only one I know is Dweezil. I know Moon Unit because she did Valley Girl. Oh, yeah. So okay. yeah right. Open wide, for sure, for sure. Dave, right. I played on that song. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. And that song was, it, it inspired the movie Valley Girl, but it that song was not on the soundtrack because Frank would not give permission. That was a bum move. I think Frank, that song and that movie would have been so cool. It had a great soundtrack, Valley Girl. Check it out. Oh, what's his name? It's his name. It's his name. It's his brother's name. Ahmed. Right there. Uh, oh, man. I think it's Ahmed. Oh, man. Yeah, it's something. It's something something like that. Well, anyways. Yeah, they did Staying Alive. And like, My guitar wants to kill you, mama. My guitar, My guitar wants, wants to kill you. I once met Rick Dillinger. I was walking in, and he was there. It was like really in the '80s, and I didn't know. How, I don't know who he was. I know. I mean, I knew his music, but I wasn't aware exactly who he was. He was just like there was a line. Like he shook his head and took his autograph. Like later on, like there was no internet back then, kid. <laughs> there was something called the library. Yeah, you had to go. You had to go there. You had to flip pages. You had to like you could get like I know you could get murdered on the internet now, but back then you could get a, a really bad paper cut at the library. And then when you got to like if you especially if it was like a rock. If you were in the rock books, chances were when you found your favorite band, it would be like cut out. The, yeah, that's true. Because you know, some teenager went and cut out all the cool pics, so half the articles are missing. Because if, if a cool pic was there, like oh, you'd have the back of the story missing on another band on the other side. I only did that a couple of times. So for you guys that don't know, the Hollywood Guitar Center, big, it's kind of a big deal here. Yeah, and it's famous because it's right next to the famous Sunset Grill that um, Don Hanley wrote a song about. They have the rock walk in front where they have these big fancy musicians come and put their hands and paw prints on the, the cold cement. Yeah, one day we're gonna put, we're gonna like, we're gonna pour cement over all those handprints. And then we're gonna put our handprints over. Yeah. In your fixed guitar center. The new, new wave. Here's Lisa May with the traffic. Yeah. Traffic looks good, except there's a dead dog and a motorcycle. Like, and every freeway has a has a ladder and a shelf. Watch out! Oh, oh, oh. I feel like we're at Disneyland, man. A little round. Yeah. Back then they didn't make straight streets. Guitar Free Rally. Oh, Guitar Free Rally just got cut off. If only this thing would be turned around, we could have had a lawsuit. Yeah, but we need two cameras, man. One on yeah. us, one on the road. Seriously. Yeah, that way we could talk smack about. We could just be LA tripping in LA. Oh. Karaoke call. I'd say I'd never do this, but I already did it. I say all kinds of things already. Oh, let's put on murder one, so that people know. You can't put on music, and then we can't use it because then it's like. Oh yeah. What are we? Look at these guys. Move your AA out of the park. Kids don't want to see alcoholics in the park drinking coffee. They're gonna think drinking isn't fun when they grow up. Cause those guys went and ruined it for everybody. Uh, here's one of the first times like I came to. Uncle Ruben brought me here as a kid. Nice to see that they've let like the artist add to their <laughs> motif. I'm just kidding, it's totally graffiti and it's like seems like they tried to wash it. <laughs> it looks horrible. It's embedded into the tile. <laughs> just like it looks like they sanded it off and like and then they spray painted it again and like Oh my, it looks like a shooting range for spray painters. It's like a spray paint range. Oh, they should just call themselves graffiti burgers, man. Just give just give up. Stop fighting it, right? Uh, is it still open for business? It looks like it's Yes, I'm oh, sure. Oh wow. Imagine you go in there, you get high just from the fumes of all the graffiti. We should go back there and take a picture of that. So boys and girls, our special edition show today is for two reasons. We're going to the Hollywood Guitar Center and we're going to have a drink with Lemmy. Lemmy's statue. Lemmy's he's probably already reincarnated into another rocker. But we're gonna go look at the statue and pay homage to what his last incarnation was. The Rainbow Bar and Grill did the world a favor and put up a statue oh. for him. 
because it was his favorite hangout and we should spot. do a lot of we should do statues in LA we could also do Jimmy Dean Jimmy Dean oh yeah we have Jimmy we have a Jimmy Dean statue we we're gonna go put marshmallows in his eye sockets because he doesn't have eyeball we have a uh, person in front of this us guy's he's got he's 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 fixed on the words the streets called Cummings <laughs> He was still fixated on the word. He's like, that's not a street. Who put that up there? <laughs> Cummings. That's one of these street artists. That's right, sir. Cummings. It's a real street. Who's the, which is the Ramon that's at Hollywood Forever? Uh, Johnny. So we're going to do statues of LA. Only. Guitar Fever LA. We're going to do also guitar shops and guitarists from LA. You got to live in LA for at least a year for me to, to consider you an LA resident. Yeah. You can't just come from like. You know, the Mississippi Delta was your was your devil in like your old beat up guitar. Yeah, your devil, you know, curse and be like, I'm from LA. No, no, you gotta live here a year. You gotta live through the uh, traffic for one year, then you're from LA. You put up with one year of LA traffic, good argument, you're from LA. Don't the Budweiser Brewery. Oh yeah. Let's go get a free sample. Next time we gotta come with a with a handheld so we can show the world what yeah, we're talking about. Look at everything looks everything looks pristine because it actually rained in LA. Yeah, it rained this year. And so everything looks like it looks like a movie set because you know when movies they never add the dirt when they do digital. Everything's clean. <laughs> That's true. Huh? We're now entering the artist district, also known as Trust Fund Baby yeah. District. It's a bunch of drunk drunk on craft beer. 20, 30 something. Mostly bearded now because everyone's got a beard. Yeah. Look at these That's guys. Right Here we there. go. Real hipsters. That guy had a cigar and guess what? He thought he was FDR. He had one of those cigarettes, like the little, little, the little stick. Yeah. The little filter. Yep. Now you know. So if you can see all the graffiti, this is not real graffiti. This is street art graffiti. So you think you can see this from behind us? Oh. Yeah, they could probably see it from the side. Oh, Not to be confused with the graffiti we saw at the Tom's Hamburger Shack two minutes ago. We're now in Little Tokyo. Ah! That's my almost near to death. Like I saw my life flashing before me. And we're never gonna get to the Guitar Center. It's about the journey, yeah. not the destination. I know. I once met some people that weren't from LA, and they they were um, so we're gonna have our rap party where we're gonna have some movie set. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have a rap party in Hollywood. I'm going, cool, I'll be there and I'll be and I told them where I lived and they go, what? Isn't that an I go, I'm 20 miles away. He goes like 20 miles away? Isn't that an hour away from Hollywood? I'm like, like, yeah. I was like, it's not a lot. I'm like, when you grew up in LA, the ride to Hollywood is for you bullshit yeah. and you, you listen to music and then you get there. You don't wanna live in Hollywood 20 You wanna just get there? You wanna be like in New York? Get in some, just walk, and then you're there. Eh, it's not worth it, people. Yeah, we I mean, traffic city, sucks, yeah. don't get me wrong. That's why when, like in the 80s, we used to drive, and uh, after midnight, on weekdays, up and down the freeways, they were empty. Man. After midnight, we can't sing that song, because we don't have... You can sing anything, it's just a singer. Uh, you just can't think you can do a three-second snippet of anything. Good. Then we're in compliance. Yeah, three seconds of anything. And that was gonna get you for four, so. So, I mean, you can go a little long is what I'm saying. Yeah. We didn't give that guy permission. He just stuck his hand out and was like, yeah. hey, let me through. Thanks, bro. But he was thanking this guy. And then he took our. St we weren't letting him through, and he didn't thank us. What a gym. If this camera wasn't here, I would be doing all kinds of stuff that deemed illegal. <laughs> well, now we're in downtown, which means there's a bar every 10 feet. Yeah. Every 10 Go feet and every 10 floors. <laughs> I've never been to the Rainbow. I've always been intimidated by going to the Rainbow because it was a place where all the rock stars used to go and the older guitarists that I hung out with, they all turned 21 before I did. So that went first and they, were all, they all had their Rainbow story. And I was scared of it. I'm still scared of it. So I haven't been there yet. Well, we're going to go up for you, the viewers. We're I'm going to fight my fear out. and go to the Rainbow. Hopefully we won't be like interrupted by celebrities there. Yep. Now it's Smooth Sailing the Guitar Center. I'm looking for a Paul Reed Smith guitar. New or used. 24 friends. Are yeah. all that? I said 24, 24? friends. No, I have a 22. Hey 
pronounce that? Lamoine? Lamoine. Yeah. What is this? A French part of town? There's a French restaurant right around the bed, so we see it says taxi. A French restaurant and a French. It doesn't say street. taxi, yeah, it says something else. Oh. Damn it, we're in the French quarter here of LA. The toilet. That's French. And then garbage and garage <laughs> is also French. Look at this dog. Turn this thing around now, man. Frequency. Now we're chasing down. Here we are in Hollywood. Here's Ben. He's driving. BMW. I have an American car. Look at this guy. Look at his hat. That's a nice orange hat. Typical LA. Yup. That's an LA human right there. He's from LA. There's some more weirdos. You're all weird. Yes. Alright, people, here we are. Now we're getting some work done. Look at all this artwork. Can you get that art? That's, that's art. Just... Some guys actually working on the weekend. Probably not. Bike shop. Look at all these trendy. Nothing was here, man. 20 years ago, this was all nothing. This used to be a thrift shop. Now it's gone. Look at the artwork. My God. It's like comic books on the side of buildings. It's like warping children's mind. You shouldn't, kids shouldn't see all this like acid tripping artwork unless they're 18. And you know, they have wackos or you know, the golden apple or look at there's a the Hollywood sign and the Griffith Observatory. We're at the famous Hollywood and, and Sunset. I guess it's not Hollywood and Vine, right? Hollywood and Vine. That's up the Sunset street. And Vine. Sunset, Sunset and Vine. Sunset and Vine. We're about to drive down. Oh, look at that guy's. Pointy shoes. I heard their pointy shoes are big in Mexico now. Yeah. The so, pointy the Yeah, the, the pointy ear and like venti. And you have to deal with a dancer. Yeah, dancers. I saw that on Vice Land. Hey, they should give us a show on Vice Land, man. The Hispanic uh, perspective. Yeah, yeah, Cinerama Dome. Yeah, Cinerama Dome. Kids, this is where Cinerama things happen. There's Amoeba Music. Paul McCartney decided to have a concert there for free. He didn't tell me. The bastard. Yeah. He Money. Yeah. You know how much many times I saw him? I don't know, three times or twice, you know, three times. Yeah, every there time we see him, he's like, hey, let me be I'll get you next time. Yep, and the guy never he don't trust Paul McCartney. He's a drinker, but not a payer. Here we go. We're uh, now we're going to We're gonna give you a tour of Hollywood's elite famous. We're gonna pass by Tommy Lee, the school he used to ditch from. I don't think he actually went there, he only ditched from there. He really went there to sell his drugs or buy his drugs, I forget what it is. Here's Sunset Sound, people. You know what Sunset Sound, there it is. One and only famous Sunset Sound. Is that where, where Brian Wilson recorded his uh... What's his name goes there? Um, oh, I'm a huge chuck. I'm a huge boy. You whore, you. I'm about to tell you about the stuff. And very low and monotone tone. Don't be offended if you're not. There's Superman. We got him. We got him in his Saturday shorts. Superman! He's so conceited, man. Superman! He drives an E-Class Mercedes. He's got to be low-key. He's got to make that whole reporter thing work. I know the guy and he's ignoring me. You know everyone when you live in LA. Because then everyone has to come here for NAM, you know? I avoid NAM because that's where all, you know, all the YouTubers hang out. Yeah. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. That's just where people see me. Oh, my hair is messed up too. Oh, never mind your hair. My hemorrhoids are killing me. Let's get there. Crazy cuts. Maybe that's maybe we should go to Crazy Cuts. Oh, so how it didn't sound like a sane idea at the time. <laughs> well, here's Tommy Lee. Here's that school I told you Tommy Lee used to ditch from. Highland and Sunset. It's Hollywood High. I guess you came here. John Ritter came here. Vernon Shirley or one of them. All right, who else is alumni from here? Didn't they film um, Fast Times at Richmond High here? We'll have to look that up. I think Mark Hamill came here, I'm not sure. Cool, you're making me look like somebody's arriving. <laughs> yeah, is this 
recording? Hell yeah, I've arrived at the Guitar Center, man. People are looking at me. Looking out of his car. You know?